The troop decided to take a day off from camp and visit the Hinkley Fire Museum. The museum shows some of the history of the fire of September 1st, 1894. The fire took over 400 lives. Many of the townspeople were saved by a train that happened to be passing through the town. The train stopped at a nearby lake in which people took cover. The cause of the fire has never been determined. One of the highlights of the week was our canoe trip. Each of us will long remember the breathtaking beauty of the quiet waters of the St. Croix. Pause with us now as we look at what gives camping its own individual high. One of the ways we try to get the most out of camping is going backpacking. Each person packs his own gear plus a portion of the group's equipment and food. These trips were to remote sections of the park reserved for canoes and backpackers only. Cooking was done over an open fire. Times here were spent talking with a friend, fishing, or maybe spending a moment alone. When back at the main camp, one could find people doing any number of things.
At night, campfires were a big attraction. Then there was a day the Scoutmaster met with an unfortunate accident. When not bandaging the Scoutmaster, people slapped mosquitoes, relaxed in a hammock, possibly with a friend or two. Making faces at the photographer was not one of the recommended activities. Biking around the park was quite popular. From the looks of this picture, we were quite sure that Paul never did find his teddy bear. We weren't sure what Tony was doing here, but we believe that Brian is waiting for his prince to come. Everyone else, we know, gets their picture done at the drugstore. One of the other big attractions was the fire tower. The lesson we learned was a simple one. Whatever goes up must come down. 